What is the output of this simple Java program? Well, this kind of a coding questions you may get in a Java interviews. So here is a base class that is a print method that prints base method. Next, here is a derived class that extends base class and it overrides the print method from the base class and prints derived method. Next, here is a main class. It has a main method which is the entry point of this program and within the main method, the object of the derived class is created and the print method is called using derived class object. Now, the question is what is the output of this program? Well, here you can see the print method is called using derived class object and this print method internally has a super dot print. So, this super keyword basically we use to call the super class constructors, methods and fields. In this case, the super keyword is used to call the print method from super class that is base class, right? That's why this print method will get invoke and it will print base method and then followed by it will print a derived method. If I run this program, you can see the output base method and derived method. The key point here is to understand about this super keyword.